friends. Uh, this week we are reading books that have to do with pets. So what pet do I have in this story? Yeah, it's a pig. And does anyone have a guess at his name? You may have seen other uh, stories at school that are about this pig. His name is Gil Gilbert. Yeah. And this is our sea level book today. Uh, the chicks are hatching. So you guys can see, ooh, the chicks are breaking out of their shells and Gilbert the pig is there to watch. All right. First, before we jump, or actually let's do our picture walk first. I really like doing the picture walk because it gets me excited for the story. The chicks are hatching. Ooh, so he's watching the eggs. They're starting to crack. Oh, and then there's some kids and a, maybe a mom or a teacher. And the Gilbert comes over and it's like, hey, hey, the chicks are hatching. Hey, you guys, why are you telling me to be quiet? What was that? The chicks are hatching. It's important. Oh, and then he goes and he tells the donkey, donkey, what do I do? And the horse. And then over here now he has maybe the horse and the donkey together. I know what they're talking about. Oh, and there's the woman again. Hmm. Oh, finally! They came over to see them hatch. Look at the little baby chicks. Oh, so cute. All right. Let's go over some of the words we're going to see in this story. It has a lot of sight words, and I bet you guys already know most of them. Are you ready? The. Good. What's this one? On. Are. Am. To. Good. Try to get them before I say them. That means you're going fast. That means you know you're in a snap. Is. Said. for this last one all right look wow that's a lot all right let's say them fast we're so good that we can do this okay on r am to the is look oh at i think i got them all said <laughs> good job all right i'm gonna take those out of the way and the only other thing i want to tell you before we start reading is to look for those ing words so if i'm saying i'm read i i read a book if i'm currently doing it then i would say that i'm reading the book so i have to add that i n g to the end of my word okay so i have read becomes read ing and another example of that would be hatch. So the eggs, when they hatch, say, I saw an egg hatch. But you might see, I am watching the eggs hatching. Okay. They are hatching. Come look. I think that's what he's saying in the story. But let's find out together. So the other thing I want to tell you is to think about the setting of the story. Where do uh, donkeys and horses and pigs and chickens, where do they usually live? All together like that. So keep that in mind and think about that as we're going through our setting. That might be important. The chicks are hatching. See that ING? All right, you read first. That was a lot. All right, ready? Look at the eggs. The chicks are hatching. Gilbert the pig ran to the farmer. Oh, the farmer? Hmm. So before I wasn't sure if that was a mom or a teacher, and now we know she's the farmer. But she was doing some reading to the girls um, in between her farm work, I guess. How cool is that? 
Gilbert the pig ran to the farmer. Oink, oink, said Gilbert. Ooh, does that make sense? Yeah, we've heard that before, that pigs make an oink sound. I think it sounds more like this. Can you make a pig sound too? That's my interpretation. <laughs> it doesn't sound like oink though, does it? Oink, oink. I don't know where they got that from. But you might see that. The, think of other animals and what noises they make. And think about how they're portrayed and talked about in stories. Mm, all right. Look at their fingers to help you with that first one. It's a sound and then they pull it out. So they're saying, shh, said the farmer. I am, what are they doing? Reading, yeah. Why are you being so loud? We're trying to read here. Okay, where's Gilbert now? Yeah, I said that was a donkey, right? Gilbert ran to the donkey. Oink, oink, said Gilbert. All right, what does the donkey say? It's okay if you don't know. Let's sound it out. So we don't know what they're saying because they're talking in their animal lang languages, huh? Hee haw, hee haw, said the donkey. Oink, oink, said Gilbert. So that's a little closer to what donkeys actually sound like. You, later, you could ask your family to look up online, say, play a donkey noise. And you might be able to hear what they sound like in real life. But it's similar to this. It's like, hee haw, hee haw. So it's kind of close to this. I don't know if I do a good donkey, though. I have to check, too. Oh, who is this? Yeah, this is a horse. Gilbert ran to the horse. Oink, oink, said Gilbert. All right, what does a horse say? So it's a donkey again. So it's all their noises on this page, huh? Nay, nay, said the horse. Hee haw, hee haw, said the donkey. Oink, oink, said Gilbert. I can't think of what a horse really sounds like. I feel like they like do a snickering type of sound. Um, mo, mo. Doesn't sound like neighing to me. But sometimes we have to learn how storybooks say things. And in storybooks, they often say nay, nay. You can think of the story about like Old MacDonald had a farm um, and how the different sounds the animals are portrayed in that story. And a lot of that has now gotten into books and how we portray sounds. All right, now we're gonna figure out what's happening on this page. What is she saying? What is the farmer saying? Ooh, here we have a word where there's two parts. What's this word? And then you add the ing, right? What is going on, said the farmer. What's going on? Oh, look, said the farmer, baby chicks. Ah. All right, if you want to challenge yourself, go back and read the story again. And this time, turn off the sound so you can't hear me reading it. And you are going to be the one reading all those words on your own. Okay. And um, you can also add that expressive sound um, to all the points in the book where you think it should be. All right. Thanks for joining me for our uh, C-level book today, friends. Have a great day and enjoy your pet.